Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In this video here, we're going to take a look at how we can create a computer vision data set from scratch. So basically just going to take a raw data set. You can capture it with your own images. If you have a webcam camera, also if you just have custom images, I'm then going to show you how we can use label M to go in and annotate our images, export into the YOLO format, and then upload it to Autolytics Hub. Then we have other videos covering like pretty much the whole computer vision pipeline. How we can take a data set, I'm going to cover that in this video, annotate the images, export it into the Autolytics Hub. Inside the Autolytics Hub, you can choose which of the models that you want to train. Hit train, specify the high parameters, and it's going to train the models automatically. No code at all, only a few clicks. So let's now go and connect the whole computer vision pipeline and see how we can generate a custom data set with label im. So first of all, let's just jump straight into the label im GitHub repository see how we can install it it's only a few clicks that we need to do so first of all i'm going to open a new window inside of my terminal so we can just scroll a bit further down you can go in and see all the code and so on this is an open source so you can use it on your own data set basically just to draw bounding boxes export it into the yellow format where we have the classes and also the values for these bounding boxes it's both supported Linux, Windows, and also Mac OS. So it's a pretty cool tool and everything runs locally. So you don't need to upload your data set to any cloud services or anything. If you scroll a bit further down, we can then see how to install it. So you can basically just pip install it. So pip install label im. I've already done that, but the only thing that you need to do is to take this one here. If you get any errors, make sure that you're using probably like Python 3.9 and so on. I've had some problems with newer versions of Python. So first of all, if you're working with an Anaconda environment, you can just create a version with Python 3.9. I have one here, and then you can just pip install label im and you're good to go. It's going to set up everything for you. And then you can just run this command label im and it will open up the program. So that's pretty much everything that we need to do. Here we can see that it pretty much just opens it up. We can open a directory with images, start our annotation, verify the image, save it into the YOLO format, and so on. We can also specify the image path if you want to open up directly an image, and also if you have some predefined classes. Could be a text file where you just have all the classes already that you want to annotate, but you can also just add them on the go with the label im tool. Here we have installed instructions for Ubuntu Linux. If you run into any problems with just a traditional pip install, Mac OS and also Python 3 with a virtual environment, Windows and so on. But again, should pretty much just work with the pip install out of the box. They also have Docker, but these are only a few steps that you need to run and you have label aim up and running on your own local machine. So there we go, we're pretty much good to go. Let's now jump in and see how we can annotate our own images, upload it into the Autolytics Hub, so we can start training our own custom YOLV8 models. So if you take a look at the right here, these are pretty much the examples that we have in our data set, and then we can go in and annotate these cars. Once we've done that, we can upload our data set into the Autolytics Hub. So just have a bunch of images here. We can run through a couple of examples. You can just do everything on your own. Then we're going to show you the steps to upload it into the Autolytics Hub. So let's go ahead and open that directory. I'm just going to open Deer. Then I have it inside my downloads. Car 2. Let's just pull the images. So let's take the train. And then we have our images. Let's just open those up. We can see that we have a bunch of files down here to the right. So we can see all the files in the bottom right corner. We can zoom in and out. These are 640 by 640 images. If you go over here to the left, we can change the save format. So this is pretty much what we want to do. So we either have create ML, Pascal VUC, which is the standard format, but also this YOLO format, which stores the index of the class and also basically just the coordinates of our bounding boxes where they're normalized with the image size, so both the width and the height. And then we get the top left corner and the width and height of our bounding box. That is pretty much all information that we need when we want to train custom object detection models. So let's go over here to the left. We can then create rectangular bounding box. There we go. We can just drag it around our cars. Right now, because we're doing it for the first time, we can specify the type of object that we want. We can also add trucks and so on. Right now, I'm just going to create a bunch. So right now, if you have multiple classes, you can also add that. So let's just call this one here a truck. 
Then we can just go in and add labels for all of them. We also get this very nice crosshair so we can fit our bounding boxes nicely around our objects. This is pretty much everything that we need to do. Then we can just run through all our image examples. I'm just going to go through a bunch of them here. And then after that, we can upload it and export it. So you can either just have control command S or save it over here to the left. And it's going to save the labels in the correct YOLO format. So then we just do it for the whole data set. Right now, let's just go down and take one of the other images. So once we have that, we save it. And then over here to the right, we can choose all the other images that we have in our data set. We can just go through a bunch of the examples right now. Then go in and create a rectangular box. Let's call this a truck. Just choose which of the classes. There we go. So now we have a few images in our data set. You can just do everything on your own. It, it takes a long time to do this manual process and so on, but we only have to do it once, upload it, and then we can train and fine tune our own custom models on top of this. So now we're pretty much good to go. We can save and also verify the images. There we go. And we can go to the first one. Let's go in, verify it. We have them saved and we can also change the save directory. So depending on where we want to store it. So right now, let me just go inside our download directory and we have our labels, images. Let's just store it inside our images as well. Let's go in and save it. So we make sure that we save it in the correct location. So once we have labeled our whole data set, we just need to format in the correct format for the Autolytics hub. So right now I've just annotated two images, but you can go in and annotate all the images that you want, add all the classes and also all the bounding boxes. So now we just have two examples. Let's now go inside the Autolytics hub and let's take a look at how it looks. So right now, if you go inside the datasets tab, again, we have videos covering all of this. So definitely check that out here on the channel. Let's upload a new data set. Classification, detection, RN, bounding boxes, segmentation, and also post estimation. Right now, I'll just call it cars data set. Then you can upload your zip file here with all the annotation, the label files. You also need a data YAML file specifying the classes and also the structure of our data set. We can see an example here. So when we're doing object detection, we need to have the zip file with our images and also our labels and our detect YAML file, which is just specifying these paths here and also our classes. So if we go inside images, we need to have our train validation and also test split both for our images and labels. And we need to have corresponding names for our images and also labels, and we're pretty much good to go. So it exports it in the YOLO format for the labels. And now we just need to do some restructuring. So we have this exact dataset format. We can upload it here and we're good to go. If you want to have a real world example or like an example as a baseline, you can just download it here directly and use it. So right now, after I've annotated the images, I've just taken both the labels and also the images, copy it inside these folders. So I've created this cars data set that I'm going to zip. We have the detect folder. Now we have our images and labels and also our data YAML file. So you need to specify and create this YAML file as well. We have our images. Let's go in and create a list. So we have our train test and validation. And for each one of them, we just have these two images that we have annotated. So I've just copy pasted and used them for each individual split. But this is just to show you the whole structure that you need. You can have an arbitrary number of images. Often you will take 80% of the images have it in your training set, and then you can have like 20% in your validation set or test set, depending on if you don't want to have one of them, or you can take 80% into your training, 10% for validation, and then 10% for your test data set. So you can pretty much just choose that yourself, but again, just copy paste the images in here directly. So right now we have our labels. We also have our images. Now we need our data YAML file. If we go inside this one here, we can see that we need the path. You need to specify the directory path. You don't need to take care of that for now because we just have our zipped folder. We have our train with our images slash train. And then inside our validation, we have images slash val and the same for test. Then we also need to specify the names of our classes where the server index is a car and also truck. You can have arbitrary number of classes here. We just need to specify them and we get those from the class text file that the label im generates as well. So we're pretty much good to go. We just need to do some copy pasting, restructuring this code format, and we're good to go. If we just go back again, we can then see we have this format, images, labels, however, detect, car data set, and now we can just zip it up. So I've already done that. We have this car data set too. There we go. Now I've just uploaded this file. This is the format that we have. Now we can go in and create it and it will just take a few seconds depending on how many images that you have in your data set. Could be a few minutes. So data set uploading at the bottom should be able to see it in just a second. 300 kilobytes, six images and two 
classes. We get the thumbnail here. So these are the only cards that are act like annotated. You can add an arbitrary number of classes, labels, images, and so on, both for train validation and test. There we go. We can see that we have the same images in each individual one of them. So the time consuming part here is annotating the image, but also just restructuring into the correct format. But label em takes care of the formatting for the act like annotations of the bounding boxes. Now we're good to go. We have other videos covering like how we can train it, but you can just hit train in the top right corner. You can even go in here and share it as well, so just as a Google Drive. You can work together with your team members and colleagues. Train model, choose your OVA8 model, continue. You can choose to train it on the Google Colab notebook, bring your own agent on your local computer or on the Ultralytics cloud, specify the number of epochs, 20 epochs, NVIDIA T4 start training, it's good to go. It's going to spin up an instance. You will lock the live metrics in here as well. This is how easy it is to set up a whole computer vision pipeline. Now we have covered everything from having a data set without any annotations, without any labels. Now we can use label M on your local machine. You don't need to upload your data anywhere. Label it in there, convert to YOLO, upload it into the Autolytics Hub. With just a few clicks, you have a custom trained YOLO V8 model. Thanks a lot for watching this video here, guys. I hope you have learned a ton. Definitely go and test it out on your own use cases, applications, and projects that you want to solve with computer vision and AI. Also check out the other videos here on the channel, and then I'll just see you guys in one of the upcoming videos. Until then, happy learning.